Hey everybody, welcome back to the single player Let's Play world! Oh my god, it's been a while since we've been here. I'm excited to be back and be with you today. Today we're going to take a look around at uh, all of our builds, do a little world tour, and decide what comes next for this place. I want to uh, welcome all of you who haven't been here before. This is exciting for me to show this to you, uh, if you haven't seen it. For anybody who has been just started watching since Echocraft started, or in the middle of Echocraft, or towards the end of Echocraft, I am happy, 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 happy that you're here, and I really want to show you this world. So, we're starting off today in Episode 1. This is the spawn. This is world spawn. And this is where we started out. Right about... Right here. So, we took a walk. We built this campsite. Actually, we built it first. Way over there. But, we moved it. Because it got in the way of something else later. So, we decided to put it at spawn. So that there was some stuff. In case we start out or die. There's some food. Uh, and that's about it. I never got around to stocking this place with anything. I should, though. It'd be a good idea, right? Now let's head over to our main area. We got started building up everything that we have now, basically. Basically, most of everything is in one area. I think almost everything. We come back over here at some point. I don't remember which point, though. So, here's the farm. This was our first big build big project when we started our world and our first very first project was the farmhouse all wooden starter well almost all wooden starter house wooden cobble easy stuff to get you know what i mean here's our dog we didn't name him i forget what i was gonna name him humber humble hum, humber humbert oh here's the interior of our little farmhouse Fireplace, kitchen area, some storage down here that I, I use kind of, but not that much because even though it looks kind of neat and kind of random and like you might find in somebody's basement, just stuff everywhere, it's really hard to remember where anything is. So I use it less than I should. Upstairs, uh, there's our super secret uh, ninja suit that we used to free the villagers from the clutches of the iron golem. And bedroom. Leaving the farmhouse in episode 2, we built the old chicken coop. I like this chicken coop. They've got water here. they got a little house in case it rains. There's their poop. It's diorite. Get it? Chicken poop. <laughs> poop. In episode number 3, we built the enchantment cave. Which is over this way. We head down in the creepy enchanting cave, which I love, actually. Um, for our first enchanting cave project, or enchanting room project, I thought it was really nice. With a river coming down from up here, it surrounds the enchantment table and works its way down. And that actually leads somewhere, but we're not there yet. We're about to be, though. Leaving the enchantment area back past the farmhouse, there was enchantment cave. There's the chicken coop we just saw. Episode four, we built the sheep pen, which I really I, I like this build a lot. I don't know what it is. It's maybe it's the shape of it. I love the roof shape. It's like a bird or something. I don't know. But yeah, here's the Enderman. Here's the sheep pen with all of its hay for the guys to eat, water, and, you know, I mean, what is it really? Sheep like to eat grass, so there's a lot of grass. Well, we also terraformed this wall area up here as part of that project, which was nice. We must have started building the fields or installing the fields. The fields uh, kind of came in over time, and I don't, I think? I don't remember when I built these. <laughs> I don't remember when we did the fields. It, it's in there somewhere. Episode 5. We built the pig pen. Which is in this direction. And here's the pig pen. I like the shape of this place too. It's kind of cool. 
Here's all of our pigs. At some point, I think lightning struck it because there were like five zombie pigmen in here, and I don't know how they got there. It, it's not very complicated. It's just a nice shape roof that I can keep pigs underneath it, right? Right. Pretty pond. It's behind the farmhouse. Nice, nice, nice. This is the entrance to the mine. This mine came together over the course of a couple episodes. It was not all at once. We just made a little progress on it at a time. This is the entrance to the strip mine. As you can see, it's a big giant hole with winding stairs going, uh, not winding stairs, like a winding spiral pathway and sets the wall going all the way down. And since we're here, why don't we start at the top. In this area is the storage room for all of our mined stuff. So all of our uh, stone, coal, anything that we can mine up. This is also where I get up and down fast. But it does have an automatic sorting system. And there's an item elevator in here. So if we go down here to the strip mine, as you can see, strip mine, strip mine. Throw your stuff in here. It starts firing away. Come back up here. And it's getting sorted. Nice, nice. Continuing down the hole. This was an episode 5 creation, I believe. The automatic bone meal farm or the most pointless slow farm in history. It is so slow, but I think there's a fix for it. I think uh, my minecart unloaders that are under here are not very good and they just need a little bit of work. I think there's four foxes in each of these. And then there's some redstone back here. And item streams. Yeah, see, there's a, they're picking up the berries that the foxes drop, it's going in here. It's being sent into a composter back there. All the item streams go to a composter. And then they start making bone meal, and it is so slow. It's unbelievably pointless and slow. In episode number six, coming out of the strip mine here, we built the barn to keep the cows. There they are, and there's the cows. Are there enough cows? Probably. Will I ever mass slaughter them? You betcha I will. The barn, I really do enjoy this barn. Uh, I love the design of it. I love the fact that it's all wood. Yeah, it's a good looking barn. It's a good looking barn. I enjoy it from the side as well. Uh, this side is just all wall. There's no door. On the back, there's a crane. And there's like, that's kind of like a, I don't know. I was thinking like it would be like a, pulleys for this chain uh, lift situation that pulls wheat maybe to the top area of the barn which I'll show you in a second on this side of the barn there's a door so that the cows might wander in and out as they please inside the barn there's some storage here which I did use more than I think even my storage in the house there was a lot going on here for a while, and it was kind of where I was putting everything. Yeah. Uh, this is the area for the cows to wander around. If they decide to come in here for some reason, they do not like to come in here. One or two every now and then, and that's about it. This guy came in, he won't leave. It's fine. Ooh, see what Enderman does? Makes me mad. Up here, there's a little loft with a bed, some hay, maybe a vagrant or a wanderer sleeping in here from time to time you never know this is the counterweight for the lift and then up here there's some more hay bales there's some more evidence of endermen get out of here episode seven was all about that strip mine finished it up added that item system i just showed you episode eight had to do with villagers okay this started the project of our lifetime the underground villager village eh, let's try that again the underground village but first 
we built the breeder, which is back this way. I'll show you all this other stuff that you're seeing out the corner in your eye very soon. We built the breeder down here. There it is. It's uh, just pretty standard breeder um, built by Logical Geek Boy originally. If you go to the video for this episode 7, or episode 8, I'm sorry, um, there'll be links to that, and I'll put, probably put one in the description of this video as well. Minecart grabs villagers, comes up to a temporary area where we were storing them up here. Back at into the mine and up the steps we go to what happened in the next episode, which would be episode 9, where we built the nether portal. And wasn't that a good time? Was this the episode where the creeper blew us up? I can't remember. At one point a creeper blew us up right as we walked up the nether portal, took out the portal, and then I wasn't thinking and I wandered the nether forever and got traded with piglins and made flint and steel and it was a whole thing. This is our nether portal. When I built this, uh, it was probably one of my favorite things I ever built. I thought it was pretty cool for another portal, and I still do like it. It's a little, I mean, for a roundish, it's like roundish instead of being kind of round, but that's okay. Because, uh, you know what? It's built and it's done, and it looks good, so I'll keep it. Back in the mine, back down to the area where the villagers are. Up next, what we built in episode 10, which is. Uh, Again, at the time I built it, one of my favorite builds I'd ever done. I had I was on a streak, at least in my own mind. What you guys think of it is up to you. The cave spider spawner. I really like this. This area. It's got the spider there. It's got some spiders inset into the walls here. Which I really like. I like the block palette. I like the use of the redstone block. And here we have the AFK Lounge. You want to sit here and wait for your spiders to spawn? This is a triple spawner. There's two in here, one in here. And this is where I get all my XP. Still to this day, the Bane of Arthropods 5 sword on there. So I can cut through them as fast as humanly possible. Enchantment table with an anvil, some storage, another chest, and the tunnel out. Back out of the strip mine we come into episode 11 which was a tutorial episode it was a tutorial episode for this windmill this one i still like it i wish the sails had a little more uh difference in size like if there was a full block element in there so that there was the the, the fence and of something full but i'm not complaining i still like this design a lot. There's an area to store some wheat before it comes here and gets ground up by the mill. Here's the millstone and these uh, grindstones are like grinders. Makes sense, right? Right. Once again, back down the mine into the villager area. Uh, this one uh, is going to feel out of order, but it's just because of how this stuff got built. Okay, so I'm going to walk past some of these things and come back to them. In this episode, we did our automatic potato and carrot farm. Imagine, if you will, this area is empty. There's nothing here except for what we built in the back, which I will show you now. The potato and carrot farm. Another logical giveaway design, I believe. You've got the villagers picking potatoes, picking carrots. A little water feature here, which is nice. I, I really like the way this looks on the inside, you know. And that even has some grass. Good job, me. A balcony up top where you can see the top floor of these guys doing their work. Archway door. Um, I really enjoy taking these technical designs that are done in the community because I can't do them. Maybe one day, but not yet. I can't design them myself. And then putting my own aesthetic to them. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, that ceiling came out pretty good too. Oh, and coming out, I just want to show you the bottom of the entrance to the mines. This is the waterfall that comes out, and if you go up the waterfall and go th through the river, 
you get back up into that river I was showing you at the enchanting room. In episode 13, we're just leaving the mine area. We had a heck of a time. That's what I was telling you about. We went through the portal. It exploded. Uh, creeper exploded. The portal got knocked out. I ran around, found some gravel to get some flint. Got some gold to trade with piglin to make flint and steel and come back. That took up most of the episode. It was an adventure. It was fun. I liked it. It was silly and ridiculous because I really wasn't planning on doing that that day. So we came back here and just a little build project uh, we built this bridge that links the area below the pigsty and this area where I kind of have my makeshift tree farm set up. You know, this area is really nice and it's got this big mountain back here. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice spot. I, I definitely need to continue working here. Yeah, this area, it, it still has a lot, a lot, a lot of potential. So on that note, I'm gonna say goodbye for today. But we're gonna be back really soon with part two of this. Because we're only pretty much halfway there. We got ten more episodes to cover. And a lot of building to cover. Like I said, this area is gorgeous. So if you want to see me make more episodes in this world and do more builds here, then do me a favor. Leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy. And I will see you in the next one.